Good morning students. Today we will see about WHO partograph. A composite graphical record of progress of labor on a single sheet of paper is known as partograph. It was developed extensively, extensively and tested by WHO in 1994. It can serve as an early warning system and assist in making decisions and interventions. Advantages include to assess the labor at glance, cell detection of abnormal progress of labor, prevention of prolonged labor, recognition of CPD long before obstructed labor, can allow time and discussion of further management of labor like termination or a terminate augmentation, make observation and recording of fetal maternal conditions more subject objectively, early recognition of fetal maternal problems, highly effective in reducing complications from prolonged labor for mother and newborn, reduce the incidence of cesarean rage and facilitate handover procedures. The disadvantages include assumes all that all that all women progress at the same rate may influence the intervention rate. Clinical findings of subjective variations, lack of knowledge, non-availability of printed partograph, duplication of recording. Partograph was introduced by E. A. Friedman from the New York in 1955. It was a graphic and analysis of labor for clinical evaluation of the progress of labor. It plots the dilatation of cervix in centimeters against in labor. The partograph further modified by Philip Cott and Castle in 1972. They added alert line and action line. They also plotted the descent of head. They emphasized its clinical application. Modified in 2000, it begins with active phase cervix dilated at 4 cm. This was the initial partograph and now the partograph starts from the, from the active phase only. So the partograph consists of five components. First, the first one is mother information. Second is the fetal well-being. Third is the labor progress. Fourth is the medications. And fifth one is maternal well-being. Well the mother information includes name, age, parity, gestational age, date of time of admissions, time of rupture of membrane, and the short anatal history. Fetal information includes fetal heart rate monitoring, safe and reliable way of knowing the fetus well, listen after each contraction for one minute, recorded half hourly for each square is for half an hour. Each vertical line of the rectangle represents 10 beats per minute, each horizontal side of the rectangle represents 30 beats minutes. Ex Expect the delivery of the fetal heart rate is below 100 or above 180. Below 100 is severe bradycardia and above 180 is severe tachycardia. Amniotic fluid. Record the color at every time the vaginal examination. If thick meconium and absent of fluid at the time of rupture of membrane, not the frequency of fetal heart rate may be a sign of fetal distress. I means intact membrane. R means ruptured membrane. C means clear of fluid and membrane ruptured. M means meconium stained and B for blood stained fluid. Molding. Molding is an important indicator of how adequately the pelvis can accommodate the fetal head. Molding noted every fourth hourly. Not and record molding in each pelvic examination. Palpate the suture and bones fetal skull to determine the degree of molding. There are four ways to note the molding. If the bones are separated and sutures are felt easily, record as zero. If the bones are just touching each other, record as plus one. If the bones are overlapping, record as plus two. If the bones are overlapping severely, record as plus three. So this zero, plus one, plus two and plus three type of molding. Labor progress, that means three things, one is cervical dilatation, second is the descent and third one is the uterine contraction. Each vertical side of rectangle shows 1 cm dilatation, each horizontal side of the rectangle shows 30 minutes. Along the bottom of the graphs, the square shows number of hours, each square represents 1 hour. Cervical dilated 4th hourly, each square represents 1 hour. One hour, there are two diagonal lines. One is the alert line, second one is the action line. Alert line represents the rate of cervical dilatation 1 cm per hour, considered to be the lowest level of norm for both nulliparia and multiparia. Labor progress normally the rate of dilatation alert line or to the left of the alert line. So, this is the alert line and this is the action line. Cervical dilatation right of the alert line shows the slow progress of the labor. Appropriate action should be taken, like example, rupture of membrane. If the cervical dilatation reaches or cross the action line, it means very slow progress of labor. The value of dilatation and admission should be immediately plotted on the alert line plotted by X. During each next vaginal examination, plot the value on the graph and connect all findings with the solid line. Head descent. 
Descent should not take place when the cervical diameter should not reach 7 cm. To plot the fetal head descent, use the space from 1,5 to 0 in the same area where we record the cervical dilatation. Each vertical side of the rectangle, one fifth of the head above the pelvic brim for convenience, the width of finger is used as a practical guide. Each horizontal side of the rectangle shows 30 minutes. Pelvic brim will accommodate the full width of five fingers and should record head position on the partograph with zero. The head is engaged when the position above the brim is represented by two fingers or less. So head is mobile above the symphysis pip is 5 by 5. Head accommodate full width of five fingers above the symphysis pip is. Head is 2 by 5 above the symphysis pip is. So head accommodate two fingers above the symphysis pip is. Plot values of fetal head descent zero, mark as O are plotted at the same vertical line the cervical dilatation. So this is 5 by 5, 4 by 5, 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and 0 by 5. Example at the time of admission it's 10 pm cervical dilatation is 5 cm, head descent is 5 by 5 cm. At 2 am cervical dilatation is 9 cm, head descent by 2 by 5 palpable. So we monitor it like this. Next is the uterine contractions. Uterine contractions observation made every half an hourly. Assess frequency duration of contraction. Each square represents one contraction felt for 10 minutes. Frequency highlight the number of square. Duration shared on the contraction. If it is less than 20 seconds, it becomes dot as a mild contraction, dotted line. 20 to 40 second moderate contraction by slot line and above 45 second it is a strong contraction it is marked as a dark line so here is the contractions how this is how we make the means we make the marking on the partograph so contraction for 10 minutes every half an hourly Oxytocin, the inadequate uterine activity is detected by the use of oxytocin should be considered. Always check the membranes are ruptured before oxytocin infusion used in labor. You are, it's not the unit of oxytocin per liter in the upper row, not the number of drops per minute in the lower row. Not every half an hour the oxytocin infusion. Sometimes the is need for administered drugs are in the venous fluids. Record the name of the drug, dosage and route of administration just below the column of the oxytocin recorded. Like Mothalgin or any pathogen phenergan is given. All those things can be noted there. So the, th the third one is the maternal, fourth one is the maternal conditions like vital signs, BP, pulse and temperature, urine analysis, albumin, glucose and urine volume. Record every 30 minutes mark with a dotted line. BP record every 4th hourly mark with arrow. Temperature means not every 2nd hourly. Protein, acetone and urine record whenever patient is passes the urine. Example, and then ask the admitted in the lactive labor room at 10 p.m. Gravida 1, para 0, FHR 130, fetal descent 5 by 5, cervical dilatation 5, bonds are supplemented lines of felt T slip, pulse is 70, BP 120 by 80, temperature is 36. At 2, 12 a.m., FHR 40 beats per minute, fetal descent 4 by 5, contract 4, contraction is 10 minutes, each lasting for 30 seconds. Pulse is 80 and temperature 36. This is how we mark those markings in the photograph. These are some of the examples. You can go through this one and to check out whether how to mark it. An electronic partogram, full electronic capture of patient information during the childbirth including CTG, partogram, or labor events outcome information, fetal blood sampling result and cord blood gases direct from the blood gas analyzer. This information can be in real time to enhance communication within an hour so the delivery suit to improve patient care and reduce human error. It can be accessed over anywhere, anytime from within the hospital or from the home. So, partogram is a kind, it's a simple, clear, easy to use, cost effective tool for monitoring of labor and decisions making. For the use of partogram, significantly improves the parental outcome. Partogram can be effectively used in facilities at the level of care. Strictly following the rules for partogram, use ensures its effectiveness. Partogram should be used for any labor in high and low risk women. Documented evidence for medical legal purpose, education value for all grade of staff thank you thank you for listening